Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk about Heart Irish to Titan So I'm a Titan player since season 17 So I'm a solo player So I cannot say I'm 100% solo la. I'm like 70% solo And then the 5% duo and 5% team So I'm a season 3 player So I reached to champion Okay During this time only champion So after this season it got Titan so I reach Titan in season 18 So I got 26 star with 50% win that I don't play a lot of game because I'm quite busy So I can manage to 26 star And my dual partner is this one So you can just uh, watch his video lah He got his, view, uh, he got his own YouTube channel So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this You need to learn about the basic of the game So what I mean by you need to learn about the basic of the game Is that uh, you need to know the map Okay, so like you need to know like where the pallet are, how you transition here, uh, where is the hunter spawn point. You are not Titan yet, so I think you should learn about the spawn point because you have very really slight advantage. Imagine that you knew that hunter is spawned here, and then let's say you spawn here. So the moment you hunter come, you knew that you should cut around, like uh, you should cut around this area, and then transition. You should not face to face with the hunter. Okay, something like that. So example here, so you know you need to cut here, cut here, cut here, cut here, you should not go here, something like that. So this is just an example. So you need to know about the spawn point of the hunter and the cipher spawn point so you don't waste a lot of your time to running around to find the cipher machine and cipher right is very really OP. So take advantage of this knowledge and also like I say the basic knowledge so you need to know about the hunter as well. So your hunter skill, your survival skill, what is the cooldown of the reapers, uh reaper for gameplay 20 seconds, if I know that, yeah 20 seconds, even I even I tell you I need to know about those things, Geisha dash how many seconds, 9 seconds. Uh, it's 8 second, okay? I, so you need to know those basic things like what, what is what is their cooldown, what is their skill and then what is their skill for how to counter those skills something like that and then the bloody queen mirror where it's going to come out something like that and then what is the cooldown of the bling, the teleport, the assignment okay? so you need to know about it, those basic things so basic is very really important learn the basic first after that you can go for the second tip so the second tip is to have a good wi-fi okay i need to mention a lot about it because in my previous video we got spectacular about the the air rank the crocodile rank we can see a lot of players are lagging quite a lot so try to get a better wi-fi if you, you does not have better wi-fi i think it's a bit impossible to reach to titan now so i just being honest so how you should get a better Wi-Fi YouTube search how to lower your ping anything or buy a good Wi-Fi ask your parent or you try to earn your money yourself go get a part-time job okay even you are a student you still can work part-time okay <laughs> okay do I when I was young I also do that lah. okay so okay so and also about the time you need at least 12 hours of the per week lah. 12 hours per week to play the rank okay yeah, I think this is the bare minimum lah, because I play 10 hours per week So I think you guys can reach it I play 10 hours, I'm able to reach Titan So I think there's no issue for you guys cannot reach to Titan with 12 hours per week So I saw there's a lot of players that play more than 24 hours per week Yeah, yeah, they play more than 24 hours Some players that play 36 hours, I don't know how they make it How they have so much free time, but mm, it doesn't matter as long as you can reach to 12 hours I think it's, it's enough for you guys uh, okay so this is the second tip so now I go for the third tip so the third tip is uh, you need to master 2 to 3 survivor you don't need to master all the survivor even I reach to Titan I still don't know how to play forward okay <laughs> I still don't know how to play perfumer I still don't know how to play prospector and still don't know how to play princess very really well okay so I know a good postman I'm very bad in female dancer, cowboys here Okay, so you can see I'm not a good in every survivor You can see my character knowledge So I'm very good in coordinator, mercenary, mechanic and top uh, I'm good in this 4 survivor only You can see my other, another survivor is very sucks lah, okay Very bad win rate, okay Maybe some is very good but I don't play a lot, okay It's just lucky, okay So you can see like I play this four character only, so you need to master two to three survivor is enough already actually. Like let me give you an example like Nuspector. So Nuspector is a prospector man, and then after that he plays here and then princess. So he like 
step step by step to learn to master one survival and then you go for another survival to master so you need to master one by one you don't need to play all the survival to reach to titan actually you just play few of it is enough already okay example dream morris is gardener and then patient little girl and then now empty aquarium so just step by step no need to learn all the survival you can see i never play forward in rank <laughs> i never play perfumer in rank okay because i'm not good with them so i don't play with them so you can see i only focus this four survival is enough for me to reach to titan uh, okay so master your survival is enough already so you guys might ask why why need to play only those pacific survival that you are good at uh, Actually, the symbol is very easy. Imagine you master those, uh, let's say you master perfumer or forward lah, okay? So let's say you master the forward lah, okay? So you know the distance when you can stun the hunter. So what is the safe zone for you to stun the hunter? So you know how to do the 180 degree, 360 degree, uh, whatever skill that forward have, and then you know how to use your football to counter the hunter skill, like the bloody queen mirror, the ripper foggy blade, and the uh, what uh, uh, any hunter skill lah, something like that lah. So you know how to play forward very well. You know how to counter lah. So uh, it doesn't matter you master which character you can master thief there's a lot of thief player they are they can reach titan so it doesn't matter which survivor as long as you master those survivor lah okay so actually you don't need to play a lot because it will uh you will lose focus you will too focus on the how should i say if you play too much character you will you did not master any survivor so you will like uh, lose focus so you will you will lose focus about the game things so this is the number 40 so you will lose focus about the game things the micro game what is the decision you guys should make so it's not this game is not all about the kite it's not all about the skill you know you need to know about the game as well like what the decision you guys should make so what happen if this kind of situation happen what you what you should do you should rescue or you should heal or you should give up the rescue or you should support your team something like that so that's why i say like uh you should master it. after you master you don't need to think about uh, when you should use your football as humble your forward player when you should use your football what is the right timing you don't need to think about those things you just focus on those micro game, game things so you fully focus on those things the game things so you can play the game really better because your muscle memory know what you are doing already so this is the one of the example okay so i continue to talk about the number four tips so why the number four tips is really important because this team is like uh it's a game changing one so how you guys can improve this thing uh actually you can just watch a lot of games i believe there's a lot of pro game in this video uh, from youtube la, i mean like news better video uh, Happy bug, happy buddy, something like that, or any competition game you guys can watch. You can see what the decision they make is very good. So, like example, this one, endomology uh, is on the basement. So, what the survivor should do? So, uh, uh, yeah. So I can also see another survivor. So, what the survivor should do? Should mercenary come to rescue, or should not come to rescue? So. Based on this decision, you can see, oh, my cipher is two point, uh, only two cipher, or should I go rescue or not? I got Titaner, I got two elbow pad, three elbow pad, so should I go rescue or not? So, based on this decision, uh, what you guys think? You guys think, should you go rescue or should not go rescue? So this uh, game scene is very important, so after you rescue, what should you guys should do? So this uh, game, uh, game decision is very important, so you guys need to learn from it. So what is the best decision? I cannot say. Uh, which one is the best one because sometimes bullshit happen sometimes this decision is a good decision sometimes this decision is a bad decision so I cannot explain but you need to have some experience to know that uh, you have faced those mistakes <laughs> and then you know which one is the best for you so you can pick the one you think is the best one okay okay so something like that so uh, so now I go for the number five tips so the number five tips uh, is uh, you need to understand the situation and predict the future what i mean by that like example this game so like i say 
we know the situation already we know the android is at the basement we know the mercenary got three upper pack and we know the uh, the cipher is two cipher only so it's not enough cipher obviously so what should we do for the next decision so we can think like mm, so I'm a mercenary so what should I do as ever you are you are playing mercenary so what should I do should I go rescue after I rescue and then let the Antor uh, to die to, during this 20 second and then I go find someone to heal and then I go decode the cypher machine do we have enough time to have a three man cypher pop I don't think so lah so you think like you can predict the future you think that you cannot make it you just have to pick the best decision you can go for like example I think like I think this uh, mercenary should like uh, should not come too early maybe the mercenary should come during 80 to 90 percent to buy some time for another teammate to decode so after I rescue the entomology so at least three cypher is complete so only two cypher left so during these two cypher left as well at least another two cypher can cut like 30 seconds so it will be a, like cypher prime so after cypher prime we can just have a three match cypher pop and then maybe we can secure a draw so something like that you guys need to know the situation and to like and then you get a okay. okay I'm not sure why the hunter hit, hit the hunter okay so you need to predict the future okay and then some of this mercenary get a double down so it's a bad situation now and then she yeah she, and then she blocked for the okay so nothing wrong there so so from this decision we can see that uh, the best decision mercenary should do is that let the endor to sit until 90% or 80% so we can see it's like 3 cypher already so only 2 more cypher left so should let the Endor to sit until 80 to 90% and then you can go to rescue and then use the Titaner to buy a small time to decode and then find someone to heal or open the boss to heal and then after that you need to think about those future things lah so this is the, like one of the example lah actually so uh, actually there's a lot of example example you are forward player so that the uh, let's say it's the same situation uh, let's say like it's the same situation uh, okay so uh, and this time i come to rescue but i don't think i don't think it's necessary it, actually it's a loose game uh, but i just having fun you know so just come to rescue uh, okay so example like let's say it's the same situation so instead of mercenary it's a forward uh, okay so you are the forward player what you should do so you let's pause uh, let's pause it and think about it uh, so you are forward player what should we do to win the game so you will think like okay so if i want to win this game first thing first i need to stun the hunter use my 50 percent of my football to stun the hunter and after i stun the hunter i rescue the survivor before 40 percent or 50 percent and then after i rescue the endor i use my football again to stun the hunter and then escape from the basement and then let the endor to kite around the factory and then during those time i still in full health so i just go back to decode the cypher machine so after the endor is die nearby my cypher i can support her again until she get in the rocket chair so during those time maybe i can have a one cypher mm -hmm. left so i just have to make sure myself to rescue before reaching half and i mean reaching maximum 90 percent so after i rescue i try to body block for her and then do anything i can to support the and tall and not and tall, I mean yeah and tall is it yeah and tall yeah it's the and tall okay so support the and tall until until we have a four man cypher pop so you as a forward player imagine that if you master your skill lah you master your forward lah do you think you have confidence to do that yeah maybe you have confidence to do that but let's say you are not confident at least you can think for another you can predict the another plan b example the plan b is like uh I just give up the rescue. I don't care about the. <laughs> I don't care about the end door. I just give up the rescue. I just stay at the factory just to let the Wu Chen can until we, until the my another two cyber pop the cyber machine and then after that we will think about it to have a three man cyber pop something like that lah. Okay, so this is the example of the number five tips lah. So, uh. I think this number five tips I also have a lot of example in this video. But if you guys want to uh, to learn more about the number five tips, I think you can just watch a lot of video, or you can watch a lot of pro player to learn from it. Like why they make this kind of decision, like why they do this kind of things, and then why they want to do that, do this, those things. So you can just learn from them actually. So it's not that difficult. You just need to practice more. So this is the five tips. So the so the bonus tips is. 
Uh, but before I go to bonus tip, I'm going to talk about the, the summarize the five tips lah. So number one, make sure you know the basic of the game. Okay. So number two, make sure you have twelve hour per week to play the game, and you have a good Wi-Fi. Okay. Number three, master two to three survival is enough ready. You don't need to play a lot of survival one. Okay, so number four tip is game sense and micro game is far more important than the kite lah and the skill lah. Okay, so number five tips is you need to understand the situation and predict the future and make the better decision to play the game lah. So the bonus tip for this game is that um, mm, I think this tip is very really underrated lah. So a lot of player. I think they don't watch their own replay lah. Okay, so it's better that you watch your own replay, especially the loose game, the defeated one ah. Don't watch the victory one ah. Okay, it's better to watch the defeat one. Why you should watch the defeated one? Because the defeat match you will learn a lot of about your own mistake, and then maybe another person mistake. You can learn from other player mistake. You also can learn from your mistake. So from those mistakes, you can improve from it lah. So this this is the bonus tip for you guys ah. And make sure you guys have fun. Don't don't be stressed out. It's just a game, okay? So don't be so serious. If you guys can nominate to Titan, it's okay. There's a lot of thing in life you can do, okay? So nothing to be worried about, okay? So in so that's the end of this video. Hope you guys learn a lot from this video. Yeah, I know this video is not a lot of editing because I don't like edit. Nowadays, because I feel edit video is a bit fucking like that. It's not, it's not genie. It's not honest. So that's why I don't edit a lot. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope these five tips and the last bonus tip can help you guys to reach to Titan. Thank you and subscribe for more video.